But guys, we're not just here with Ken's Mustang. We are here with mine as well. That is right, you heard it. We bought another Mustang. Guys, girls, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back for some, finally, Mustang content after about 10 months. You guys have been asking for it. You guys have been wanting it back, the Mustang content. We are here at Renegade Racing with my buddy Ken, a longtime friend and owner of HPR Automotive in Henderson, Tennessee. Back here getting some baseline numbers on his new 2020 S550 because he's going the ESS route. But guys, we're not just here with Ken's Mustang. We are here with mine as well. That is right, you heard it. We bought another Mustang. But before we reveal that and go over the ins and outs of everything, and I'm so excited to be able to bring you guys Mustang content again. I'm so thrilled to be back in a Mustang. But before we get to that, let's go in here and check out some dyno footage. His baseline pulls before the ESS kit. Let's go. I'm on yellow. I'm gonna say about. You said 390. Say 390 400. I think 400, 410 maybe. We could see 420. It just depends on how heavy. I don't. I don't think it's gonna see 420. But. I'm gonna say 360. Oh. I don't. I don't see. I don't see 400 either. That's interesting. I was close. Interesting. That always makes more power in a second hit, though. This is like the price is right. The person with the lowest number wins, right? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I did 390. Oh, yeah, you made it lower. <laughs> you want to make a couple more? Huh? Come on. Let's go. I mean, you're already strapped to this day, but I'll see if we can get Hey, uh, give my laptop on the back. I'm going to see what it comes All right. Yeah. Here, I filmed my video intro. I feel better now. We can actually make some Mustang content again. Normally, it doesn't matter to me. Normally, I just want to get the tune done and get on the, get on the drag strip. It's a baseline pull. Yeah. We're on a dyno jet. That's about right. Yeah. I mean, honestly. All right, round two. Yeah, so picked up another another horsepower there, and torque is increased by about one as well, so yeah, consistent. All right guys, Ken's in there filming his outro, and we're going to do mine outro for this shop, and we're going to dive into the highlight of today's video. We're back in a Mustang after like 10 months. Oh my gosh, guys, I'm so excited. We have a ton of parts on the way or already at the house for the new car but you guys want to see it i want to show you but i want to say before we leave here a huge shout out to renegade racing i'll plug all of their information down below so if you want to come check them out if you're in the area they do all kinds of stuff guys so if your state's away you know they'll be able to take care of you as well but uh, again huge shout out to them and go follow the youtube channel as well but let's dive into mustang content we have a new s550 on the channel let's go you can do it right now <laughs> I don't want people yelling at me. Yeah, I'm, I'm cool with showing that. Got the uh, stack of tires over there. We're going to keep this, guys. We're rolling now. So, my messy garage, but we have parts, we have tires, we have a bunch of stuff in the house. We have a ton of stuff on the way. But now, let's talk about the Mustang. So, yeah, it's been about nine, ten months or something like that. It was time to come home. 
So now we've done it. And I know you guys are super excited to see the car and I'm super excited to be able to reveal to you our new S550 2022 Ford Mustang GT. But this one's a little bit different, guys. I've had, uh, how many S550s? Like five? And they've all been like performance packages or some kind of variation of that, like the Mach 1. This is gonna be my first non-PP S550. And anyway, I digress, guys. Let's spin the camera. Let's just show you in the driveway. No frills, no fancy nothing. Let's just get right to the meat and potatoes of this video. Here we go. We got a Oxford white Mustang GT. It's a 401A. So we've got the leather interior, heated and cooled seats. Uh, lucky you can, got a 400A, but you got Recaros, but yeah. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> so I might actually steal those seats at oh, some no, point. They're not going anywhere. <laughs> anyway, guys, yes, we have a Mustang back on the channel finally. We're doing a heavy build. You guys know how we do on this channel. And like I said, we got a ton of stuff on the way. You see the tires in the corner. And we're going to be uh, doing something spicy with variant wheels. And yeah, something I think that you guys will definitely want to subscribe to the channel for and see. Because I don't know if it's been done yet. But, so we'll walk around the car. 401A, leather interior. We've got the digital cluster. I've already done the black badging. It came with chrome. And I didn't want to bore you with that install because it's so easy. But here we're sitting on some of the upgraded Ford wheels. These are going to be changing next week. So we're going to get rid of the stock wheel look. Even though they don't look terrible, we want to make this car look the part and uh, definitely perform the part. So this is going to be a build a little bit different than what we've done in the past. A little bit of changes because we've built so many of them. How do we make this different? How do we tell the story different? And uh, this is going to be really exciting. So again, 401A. Well, yes, we have a 10 already, so that should tell you that we're going to be doing some racing. Yep, so me and Ken, we're going to be getting together on a, a bunch of stuff, actually, I think. You're going to be running your new Mustang. We just did the dyno pulls for the car in the stock variation before he does the blower. And uh, I'm going to have to do something like that here soon with mine. But, yep, this is it. This is the interior. I don't have PP gauges on the dash. This is kind of new to me. It's kind of more basic. But, hey, we're going to actually put something right there in that center vent anyway, which will be nice and spicy. And we'll show a boost. Yep, you heard it. We're going to be supercharging this very quickly. Very quickly. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, <laughs> without beating around the bush, guys, we have a new Mustang. And this one's going to be on the channel for a hot minute, and here's why. So, the Super got traded, and I love that car to pieces. Of all of the cars that I've ever owned, I think the Super lives in the top three, okay? And uh, let me just spin so you guys can see the Mustang in the background. Super got traded. I love that car. Like I said, it was one of the top three favorite cars that I've ever owned personally. Not in its stock form, but the way that I had built it up with the suspension, the power, so on and so forth. It was really fun car not super fast but i would say fun anyway so my buddy colton let me in on a little tip i wasn't even tracking any of this through ford but for this month during the time of this release because i've actually already had the car for about a week now believe it or not ford was doing or is doing for the rest of the month some really fancy super awesome rates anyway i was able to get into this car for a stupid low price so anyway this car was uh, one of just a few left, 2022s, at my dealership down the road that I always go to. And I went to go look, and we got the super appraised, and I didn't really lose anything, so it all worked out. And I was able to drop my interest rate a whole lot. Special interest rates that Ford has, so I was able to basically slice my payment almost in half. This car is going to be on the channel for a while, for maybe even forever, because as we get pay increases every year, yada yada yada, I think that I will be able to keep this and also possibly buy a 2024 or 2025 whenever I feel like buying the new S650, I think that we'll be able to have both on the channel and do kind of different builds on each one. So that would be really cool to see. Will I do that? I don't know. But I think that this car is going to be on this channel for a hot minute. And we're going to do a heavy build. 
we always do but it's going to be classy this time we're not going to be cutting into the car and we're not going to be doing anything stupid we're going to make it fast but classy it's going to have a really nice look to it i've I had a 2012 boss that was white but it had the graphics on it but uh, as far as just an all white pure mustang this is new to me so uh, you guys know that i like the fancy colors the oranges the reds the blues and white is something new so let's see what we do with it but Anyway, short, sweet little video. I uh, don't think that we need to drag it out and do anything crazy with cinematography or B-roll, whatever. Guys, this is it. But yeah, one more little side-by-side -side look at this thing as it sits in its stock form right now. Super cheap payment. This is crazy. Um, we actually also got, this is not it, but uh, we were able to get Wifey a truck too for uh, basically no interest, which was which is amazing. But anyway, well, we'll show that later on. Oh, the wind, because whenever the new truck gets here, we'll do a reveal on that because we're also going to be building that one up too a little bit with help from Course of Performance. We got some cool goodies on the way uh, to be revealed soon. But yeah, here we go white 2022 mustang gt so we're going to be doing our first drive video and all those things and discuss like what the plan is in the future with the vehicle in the next videos or so wheels are coming next week i think that you're not going to want to miss that because i don't think that there's an s550 in the world at least not on youtube i know this for a fact with these wheels on it and it's something spicy and new from variant wheels we've already got parts in the, in the house we've already got something fancy on the way for power something a little bit different than what we have done before but i'm so excited to be able to bring you guys mustang content once again anyway i digress that's the video guys and we'll see you in the next one goodbye